hate the idea of you down there by yourself all the time. Just drinking. I'm fine. I appreciate it. I watched the film last night, and it feels like a very brave thing to do, to take on a role that uh, could be so I, close I to I feel home. like that gives me a little too much credit. You know, I'm not <laughs> the first alcoholic or addict to play one on, in a movie. I mean, I'm not exactly pioneering anything here. I thought there was a lot of advantage to having a personal understanding of that experience. I heard you're coaching basketball. Yeah, keeps me busy. Keeps my mind off other things, you know. You're always sort of using some of your life, you know, some experiences you've had to try to get yourself emotionally to a place where the character is. It was important to me to, to do something really interesting acting-wise, to get reconnected to why I love acting, not just making movies, not making movies that make money, not being on magazines or on the internet, but actually the love of that. And these guys really, really inspired me with that. Their love, their commitment, their energy every day. This is why I love this. This is why I want to do this. Don't underestimate the impact you can have on them. You got this. No, don't just nod. I want to hear your voice. Yes or no? Yes, coach. You've made so many films where the actors are just so raw and real. How do you get there on set? How do you foster that? I'm a big believer in a lot of prep and doing research and creating biographies and it's all about the character so it's just going as deep as we can with full DNA of a character. There was a complexity to this that is different than the other ones because of what Ben was going through in real life. You know, when we were prepping, he was in rehab. The first day of shooting, he just got out of rehab. He was very raw. I just wanted to create an environment that allowed him to feel very safe to explore the demons of the character and reveal them to an audience in a way that was not acting. Because they haven't been through what we've been through. They don't know adversity. They don't know what it's like to get knocked down, to have to get back up again. When you and Ben shot one of the last scenes, he had just a breakdown. And I was really curious what it was like to be you in that moment. And when Gavin yelled, cut, how are you feeling? He didn't yell, cut. He uh, just let us go. And so the way we shot it was Ben and I hugged each other and kind of knew that we were going to go for it. And we did it back to back. So we did, we did one take and, and sort of hold his giant head and make sure he was OK to reset. I just want you to be happy again. But you kind of want it too. I had an eye line to Gavin, so I would look at him and I would nod and I would go back to my first mark, and each take was more and more intense and honest and raw, and Ben would speak from his heart, and I would just receive it. We can't change the past, Jack. What we can do is choose how we move forward. 